to another video today guys i'm going to be giving you guys a top five list about the top five guns i think will be vaulted in fortnite in season nine so if you guys enjoy be sure to leave a like subscribe share this video with a friend turn on post notifications and let me know what games or slash gaming content you guys would like to see on this channel next and enjoy the video okay guys starting off this list we have the dual pistols these are just unimpressive guns overall. They don't do much damage. They're inaccurate, inefficient. They're just left on the ground most of the time, and who needs a gun like that? And especially because once you get an SMG, a shotgun, heals, and an AR, or possibly a sniper, depending on how what kind of player you are, then you're just going to leave it on the ground. This is a gun I always find on the ground. People just use it to take the ammo. So... I just don't see this gun used as much. Like, even when I'm playing with my friends, they all drop it. And when I'm watching streamers, for the most part, they don't use this gun very often. Unless they absolutely have to in early game. So, starting off this list is dual pistols. Let me know if you guys agree down in the comments. And at number four on this list, guys, is the Heavy Assault Rifle. This is a gun that I really feel has just not been used as much as it used to be. Well, it's not, like, broken per se. It's just run its course in the game at this point. I'm getting tired of using it, and it was nerfed into the ground since it was introduced after Fort Nightmares in Season 6. So, and, like, this gun has been... Like, nerf from 98, 96 headshot damage. Like, the OG Gold Scar, like if you remember. And just isn't used as much, because it's usually dropped. And especially now that since the new Infantry Rifle has been introduced, being the purple and legendary variants, have just, just taken over the AR slot, or, like, rifle slot in most streamers' inventories. So, yeah, that's why I feel... That number four is going to be the heavy assault rifle. I just feel like it's timed for it to go. Coming in at number three in this video, we have the grenade launcher. This is a gun that is just always left on the ground. It's never really used anymore. I know when I find it out of my first chest in a game, I always leave it. I go find another gun. Like, I'll land directly on a chest, and if I don't have- if I get a grenade launcher, I won't use it. It's just so inefficient. Well, it can be helpful for shooting down builds in the late game, it's just not a gun that should be used. Because it's just inaccurate, its ammo is hard to shoot. Well, not hard to shoot, but hard to find. And it's just not a gun that I see used very much. It's just a waste of an item slot in- my hot bar, and like every once in a while I'll use it for fun because you know I try to use any gun I can, but like it's just not an impressive weapon. It's outclassed by things like clingers, dynamite, and just other explosives, especially the RPG. Because I know like all dr like when there were blue RPGs went before they got vaulted in season five, obviously, but. There used to be blue RPGs. I would, like, if I had a purple or gold, or gold, or bleh, or a golden RPG, I would, not a golden RPG, a golden grenade launcher, I would definitely take it over, a blue, like, a gold grenade launcher, and I find a blue RPG, I would take the RPG over a gold, R, over a gold rocket launcher any day. Just because it's not a good weapon to be using. Streamers don't really use it much. My, I know I don't use it much. And when I'm playing with friends, I don't see them using it very much either. So, just let me know how you guys feel about the gun in the comments down below. Coming in at number two now, guys, we have Dynamite. Now, I know in the last slide I said Dynamite outclasses the grenade launcher, but it's not used as much as it used to be back in Season 6 or 7. It's just left on the ground most of the time, and I know I get annoyed when I get it out of a chest because it could have been something 
useful like gliders or clingers because clingers are actually really useful in the game because you can or like a dick or like a dick or like a disco grenade or like the boogie bomb whatever it's called so this also isn't used by many people anymore i know that like some streamers use it I don't use it. I usually just leave it on the ground for the most part because it's just such an unreliable explosive. It's outclassed by clingers and the RPG. I mean, it does outclass the grenade launcher, but that's really not hard to do because the grenade launcher is just trash. So, honestly, that's just what I feel should be vaulted. And it's just like the grenade launcher. It's run its course in the game. And like the heavy AR, it's run its course. So. So guys, for our honorable mention, we have the Thermal AR. This gun is absolute dog crap, and no one should ever use it under any circumstances. This gun is inaccurate, well, it's actually decently accurate. It's got a crap fire rate, crap damage rate, and it's got a lot of bloom. And it's just so slow firing. And the fact that it's pretty common, like, honestly... I would take a gray AR over a gold thermal. These guns just are unimpressive overall. No one ever uses them. So, these are guns I just find laying on the ground. And when I play big time modes like Food Fight, Team Rumble, Disco Domination, 50v50, these guns are always left on the ground. It's like, nobody would be sad to see this thing go. It's long run its course. It should have been vaulted at the beginning of Season 5. So, let me know if you guys actually like the dog crap people call the Thermal AR. So, yeah. It's just how I feel about the gun. It's trash. Coming in at number 1 now, guys. We have the Tommy gun. Or the drum gun. Whatever you want me to call it. So, this gun is just... A really good gun. I really like it. It's just people have been mad that it's been back. It got vaulted all the way back in Season 5. It was just introduced over the, the weekend before Season 9. And this was during a very cool unvaulting event that they did where the metal vault door in the middle of Loot Lake opened up. And people got to vote on what gun they wanted to bring back into the Fortnite Battle Royale Island. So, basically, people have just been pretty mad that the drum gun's been back because it's spray and pray, as people call it. Just because no one is happy when they get third-partied by someone with a drum gun because people think it's overpowered. Like, this thing is the same thing it's been in Season 5, and it was a lot more overpowered. And honestly, this is my favorite gun. My second favorite gun. My favorite gun that's currently in Fortnite right now. That's not vaulted. Because it's unvaulted since the weekend before Season 9. So, basically, that's just how I feel about the drum gun. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree in the comments. Thanks for checking out my last video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment.